Hey guys, just at the Mount uh, Mount yeah. Corey campgrounds. Down right the now. bottom of Mount Corey. Do you want to restart that? No, that's alright. Okay, cool. You're the one who stuffed up. Oh, you can so, restart um, if you want. Alright, restart. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, just at the bottom of Mount Corey campgrounds now. The bottom, the of, bottom Mount of Mount Corey campgrounds. <laughs> alright, clap your hands again. Restart. <laughs> Would you like me to? <laughs> I need someone to stop laughing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Yeah Made Adventures. Me and Kieran today are just going for a quick drive up into the Brindabellas because uh, we're allowed to go for a drive at the moment, not allowed to camp. No, but it's better than being stuck at home. Yeah, so we've decided we're going to go for a quick trip just to show you guys some of the areas you can visit and go for a quick four drive around Canberra. Um, so Mount Corrie is going to be the first stop. Uh, it's a pretty good view up there, you can see Canberra. Lovely. And how far away is it? About an hour? An hour out of Canberra. Yeah, just, yeah. Hey guys, we're just at the Mount Corrie campgrounds at the moment. Nailed it. Just about to head up uh, and see the view and the nice trail to get up there. Uh, we have stayed at these campgrounds before. They are pretty nice. At the moment, they're all blocked off because of COVID, not allowed to camp. Yeah. So we're just going to chill out here for a minute, head up, and hope you enjoy the footage. It is pretty busy. Uh, normally, it's pretty windy at the top, so we'll see what kind of footage we can get. Uh, we'll definitely take some photos because it's, we might have been in it's really, really specky. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, see what we can't do. Easy. We'll see you guys up there. Bye. Only by frozen
here we are at the top and you've really got to let it take all the fantasticness in that's up here such a good view if you're in Canberra and you haven't been up here then well you really should it's only about an hour to get here and as you can see from this background just the quite a view you can see you can see Canberra and Lake Burley Griffin over there and it's just stunning I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there's a couple of dams just down there too it's fantastic we'll, uh, we'll let you just enjoy the view Hey guys, so that was Mount Cory. Uh, we're just down at the campgrounds now, hanging out, just taking a little break, probably have a little bit of lunch. Thanks to Geraldine for packing our lunch for us because that's a big bonus. Uh, so the next part of our trip, we're going to be heading to... What's up? Where are we going to be heading? I forgot the name. McIntyre's Hut. McIntyre's Hut. So hopefully we should get there before the sun goes down, get a bit more footage, show you guys all around that campground. It's really pretty. It's it nice. is really pretty. We've camped there before, uh, and it's right next to a river, so you kind of chill out. You can hear the river water running, hmm. and uh, should be good. So enjoy.
here we are down the McIntyre's hut. So we'll take a quick little view of the hut, but I'm not going to film inside or anything, so that's up to you. You got to come down and check it out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This place is, well, to be honest, it's quite lovely. Uh, you do get a, quite a few cars down here sometimes. There is a few cars down here at the moment, actually, just mm. having picnics and lunch. It's a pretty nice spot for lunch. It's really pretty. It is. So I think that's what we're going to do. We yeah, have a quick bite to eat and then, uh, yeah. Got to show everyone the river quickly, oh, just yeah. so they get an idea of where you're camping. You can yeah, see so the river. You, you camp here, there's a little fire spot. But you're not supposed to camp at the moment. So you're not allowed to do that. Watch out for wombat holes. Going on a little adventure down here. I think this is the exact spot we camped last time down on the river. I think it is, yeah. Mm. We camped probably pretty close to where the car is. Yeah. Whoa, you can actually see through it at the moment. Mm. It's clear. Saves your life. Oh, but munch. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right, we're gonna have some tea and then uh, we'll show you around. Here we are guys, McIntyre's hut. That's it for this uh, adventure. Uh, definitely get up here, check it out for yourself. It's really pretty. And when we're allowed to come camping again, you definitely want to get up here and check that out too. Uh, it's really nice. And being able to go to sleep listening to the river is fantastic. Yeah, the drive in's pretty easy. Don't stress too much about what kind of car you have. As long as you've got a four wheel drive, you should make it down here no problem. Yeah, it's not hard. It's not, it's not a hard drive. And the drive here is beautiful. Like you have some pretty good views off the side of cliffs, at the top of hills, seeing whole valleys, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's pretty scenic. The power tra uh, power line trail is not hard. Is not hard, and you get to see all of the power lines for like kilometers long, and it's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. So you get down here, check it out for yourself. I'm pretty sure there's a book in there so you can sign for yourself. We're not gonna go inside because we want you guys to come down and see it for yourself. Yeah, yeah, give you something to look forward to. Uh, other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.